Hello everybody, welcome to the first round of the Champions Cup. We have got Calcium versus Al Bundy, um, who is Nwamto on Twitch. Um, I'm Jimmy Fantastic, of course. With me is Flicky Flack, who is here now, and PC, who is joining us momentarily. Hello. Hello. This is momentarily. Oh, here he is. I may be dipping out, though. I have pizza inbound imminently with me and the children. He's a so, natural uh, performer. He just arrives on cue, never misses his mark. I, I don't miss a cue, Flicky. It's... No. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> in front of me. Hey, we've got a removal. Yeah, instant removal. Presumably, Calcium won the toss and has chosen to receive. Um, quite a rowdy human team. He's got a Pummer, he's got a couple of Mighty Blow, he's got some guard, he's got loads of Blodge. Um, he's got a Strength Up Catcher. Um, the Necro. 50 TV down, so we'll have a bit. Wait, there's oh. another removal. And there's one of the DPs gone. Yeah, so Calcium getting three knockdowns and two removals. Wouldn't, he'll be very happy with that. And now he's going to try to use the rest of the half to probably try and pom a wolf. <laughs> yeah, I guess. You would imagine so. He will be wolf hunting. Wow, the Calcium wolf. lost the toss in the Discord. The wolves are definitely the uh, the stars of this necromantic team, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's a bit thin. It's a bit thin, isn't it? The Necro team, like just some guards. I mean, it's all they need, isn't it? Guard on the other four positionals, and then two good yeah. wolves. Um, yeah, I mean, with an edge up wolf and a strength up wolf, that's there's a lot you can get done with those two pieces alone. Yeah, yeah, it's it's quite t it, like it's eighteen hundred and ten TV, but it is actually like which is pretty bloaty when you think how thin it is. But it is about as as lean as about as lean as you can make a Necro team, isn't it? Really. Oof. There's the failed fail pickup. And Will. Yeah. Will Noamto trying to swarm the backfield here. Oh, yes, yeah, and he's saving the Agi Kill for his offensive drive, yeah. I'm surprised that Noamto kicked. Um, maybe he's just thinking of the movement 8 Agi 4 one turner sidestep. Like, it's a pretty good one turner, isn't it? The, uh, yeah, it is. The Agi 4 Wolf. It's, it, it definitely brings that possibility, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Strength Four Frenzy is a nice piece to help get pushes. The ghoul's a nice recovery. Yeah, it's not a bad one turn at all, is it? It's not bad, but personally, I would have received. <laughs> e yeah, whichever, I think I just want to get the first hits in as well. Yeah, whichever side I was, I think I would have received. Just as well for the second half, isn't it? Like, if it's 1-1, one, one, you know, like, you, sometimes you've got... There's two ways of looking at it, though. And sometimes you've got to use re-rolls on your offensive drive, but then having the freedom to use re-rolls to turn at them over is, is good, isn't it? So, 6 and 2, 3 is where you should uh, keep a receipt yeah. all the time, I think. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's a tough call with a lot of races. With some, it isn't. Um, I always like the idea of, uh, of receiving in the first half. Uh, if I'm playing a, a more bashy team, particularly. Yeah. And as you said, it means you can throw the rerolls into getting your drive done, making sure that you're 1 0 at the half. Um, but it does make turning over in the second half a lot riskier if you can't use the rerolls there. So for a team that's perhaps more inclined to the turnovers and to a one turn, then kicking definitely makes some sense. You can throw all but one reroll at trying to get that turnover and then keep one back for the, the possible one turn attempt. Does make a lot of sense, right? I'm going to get a cup of tea. Be right back. Okay, so um, didn't uh, didn't try and put any pressure on. Just wanted to have a go at clawing the ogre, but no good. Yeah, I mean it was a nice deep kick, but I'd still like to have seen. I mean the problem with the wolves going for it is that they you know they're going to get banged on, but it does create that option to the turnover, which you know not throwing any threat into the backfield just it means there isn't any threat, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, if a wolf goes down, you know Calcium's going to go in for the fouls with those two dirty players. Yeah, 100%. He loves fouling. Uh, and also, I mean, in this, it's stood, you know, tactically quite valid if he can get those Absolutely, wolves out of the yeah. game. It's, it's looking very much like the humans uh, will dominate. But Yeah. I mean, if you can trade a human lineman for a wolf, you do it any yeah. day of the week. Yeah, even a human lineman with one skill on it. It's, you know, those wolves are a lot of this team, as we've said. Yeah, I mean, they're a lot of every Necro team, aren't they? But, yeah, when they're when they're like this, they really... 
they really are necessary. If you lose one of those, you, you are going to struggle. Of course, it does mean that because of the stat-ups, um, it does mean we haven't got Mighty Blow on either of the Wolves. And some people might not even have taken the strength because it does push that TV really high. Might have taken Mighty Blow instead, but a strength for Wolf with the movement they've got and still having yeah. incredibly dangerous still. I think I'd like to meet the person that turns down strength on a Wolf and uh, have a word in his ear. <laughs> yeah, I think the strength is like, I think Wolves are literally the best player to get a plus strength on in the game. So. Yeah, Wolf may be a dancer. Yeah. Well, it just means that you're less likely to be frenzy trapped. Oh. Yeah, of course, I, I think it's better. I think it's better. Yeah. again. Yeah. Two um, one and nine picks It's up. literally what I said. Now, if, he, if he had put the pressure on last turn, he would yep. be in big trouble now. Yeah. And it's literally what I said at the start of the game. I was like, do you know what? They're still crappy humans, right? They're still they're still at the mercy yeah. of Edge 3. And there they yeah. are being at the mercy of Edge 3. And uh, yeah, if only... Yeah, I mean, humans come with a lot of inbuilt rerolls, but yeah, they're still likely to fail things on a one in nine on their dodges, on their pickups. And one in nines happen about Ooh, one time in nine. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely correct, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I always think if we're using exclusive language, I know a lot of people are going to understand it, but we should explain. Um, when we're talking about fouling things, we mean kicking them in the face until they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bye, right. <laughs> so... Got to commit one more player to get another shot on the Augie. It is a mighty blow hit though, with with the wide, so 75% knockdown. Or, or 100% oh. double skulls. Oh, <laughs> instant double skulls. Ooh, uh, I would have quite liked to have carried on standing firm there. He's occupying a lot of players. Well, yeah. occupying a lot of players. <laughs> There really isn't a foul risk coming back at the moment, is there, from the Necro team? Having lost no. a couple of players already. You're um, not sure that they're going to throw even a foul in, even you know, with their fouling pieces. But, you know, one DP's off the pitch, one of them's stunned. I think yeah. that was okay to stand firm there. I mean, I've never particularly minded with an, with an AV9 thick skull if it does get fouled, because, of course, the odds of it removing it aren't that great, and the odds of removing the fouler aren't too bad either, and it usually means they've committed a lot of resources around it. Yeah. Yep. All right, I've got some pizza coming. I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. And uh, let's hope that things have um, slightly cheered up from there. Okie dokie, <laughs> see you in ball is in someone's hands. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe. Crazy thoughts. <laughs> okay, claw on a blitzer. Oh, he... oh no, he's move busted. <laughs> it's Pedro. Uh, it's Pedro. It's Calcium Pedro, so anything's possible. Um, yeah, I mean, like, this was, like, the obvious blitz, but then it's kind of ones makes you want to dodge out, right? Because this is kind of easy to hit him with his, uh, with his... With the, where's the tackler? Tackler's over just right of... Oh, he's got two tacklers. The other one's back. No, he's got not. a tackle pommer. He's got a tackle pommer ready to lay into him instantly. Yeah. I was just thinking, could he send the Agi Wolf through? But no. I think he could have, like, he, last turn he could have sent them both through and, and kind yeah. of screened them off a bit. Yeah. Rudimentary. He can, um, yeah, he can pawn that wolf. He's, he's already got a guard assist on him. Drops a guard in on the other side. And then he can pawn that wolf. Yeah, I think he's got to do it. It's probably the first thing, literally the first thing he does is get the guard in. Yeah, yeah here he goes. <laughs> Instantly he saw it. He's like, yeah, I'm after him. <laughs> He puts the re-roll into this as well. If he doesn't get the knockdown, he's re-rolling this. I don't know about gang fouling. I guess you could have hit him from the other direction. One, two, three. Yeah, he could have hit from the other direction with just tackle mighty, and then maybe he's had a follow-up hit. I mean, it's not much of a gang foul here, is it? But it's... I guess oh, got him. doing an assisted one. Is Shane the catcher back out? Chain the guard? No, chain the catcher back out, maybe. Yeah, chain the catcher out for a one assist foul. Oh. Pile on! Got to. He's used mighty blow on the armor. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter. Get on him! Ooh! Boo! 
lame. Yeah, he, yeah, he doesn't have to fail this. I guess so next turn he can do the gang foul, right? Now he just wants to set up the gang foul for next turn. Yeah. It's actually really interesting watching this game because I, I watch a lot of Calcium streams recently. It's sort of, you know, calling his players. You can just see the way his mind works and see what he wants to do. It's quite oh, good. I like it. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I am the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously Jim doing a calcium impression. He is nowhere near the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl. No, I used to be. The fucking hilarious thing is that I, I actually was on the <laughs> yeah. fumble. I actually was by a yeah. mile. And now... Yeah, you're old Nurgle on fumble. No, not even Nurgle. It was chaos. Chaos. It was, it was, oh, a, was it? I made a comedy chaos team that I got to a... Like something like no one else got to 180 black box bash rating, and I got to like 184 or something insane. Like it was insane how, how crazy. Bash and I don't was. know what that is, but I'm going to assume it's good. It was good. Oh my god! Three one in nines. Calcium, <laughs> pick up the ball. <laughs> Imagine if if no Amdor put on any pressure at all. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I literally was the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl, and then it all, it all went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> now you're the meekest man in Blood Bowl. You just want to be friends with everyone. Yeah. Doesn't matter how many times they kill you, yeah, you don't catch kill like them a back. mongoose, though. But I can catch like a mongoose. I've got that going for me. <laughs> Oh, Frosty. Yeah, look, there's the team. There's the team that got me the, the bashiest team in, in Fumble. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at this then. Looks pretty glorious. A couple of 10 Kaz matches. <laughs> and loads and loads of like 6 Kaz. That's the team. Yeah. Oh, it's, they're all dead. <laughs> You've got to click uh, view, view, view previous players to see all the, ah, the, right. the three warriors that died. <laughs> right. I was I was slightly confused there. I was like, how has this done that? Oh, yeah, sure, past players. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Oh, God, you went through a lot of players, didn't you? Yeah. Good Lord. That's a lot of dead beastmen. Yeah, 345 SPP uh, Chaos Warrior was the star of the show. Yikes. Glorious. Yeah, and Jugs was banning them, yeah. Yeah, then they got rid of banning them, the bastards. Still no flat fart, that guy. <laughs> flat fart. Right, so now is he going to come through with a white? Put a bit of... Like, I think he's got to tag people to make the foul harder on the wolf, somehow. Yeah. He's tagged out one dirty player, but the other one's right there. It is a nice place for the uh, the fleshy to be, though. I quite like him there. Just holding the center like a mini tree for wood elves. Yeah. Makes sense to get the guard in, in round the back somehow, doesn't it? He's not doing it. He's trying to control these two. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we can get a pretty decent foul here, I think. Yeah, this is rough because he's... He's almost got to foul. He's got to follow, sorry. He's almost got to follow here. Because if he doesn't, yeah, now he can chain him to an even bigger foul. <laughs> yeah. And if I know Calcium, he's just thinking, how big a foul can I make right now? <laughs> and it's probably going to be a pretty big foul. Yeah, I think plus two with Dirty Player is about as big as he can get. Maybe plus three, but I think you might need the removal to do that. Um, you should be able to get three. 
I guess yeah, you can blitz the uh, the white away as well, can't you? Yeah. He's got the plus strength catcher right there to do the blitz on the the white. There we go, he got him. Ooh, he's pushing his own. Oh, the way. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that play a bit more. He gets the gets a cheeky knockout though. Okay, so he can still get plus three, uh, plus two with dirty player, which is still good. Yeah. Just needs to blitz that white. In fact, if he chains out the the back white, he can get an extra assist as long as he gets the power here. Um, he can't chain because that's done for. Ah, okay. And doesn't get the knockdown. He re roll. <laughs> he, he pushes into him and he gets done firm as well, so he doesn't even get the, that assist. Oh dear. Okay, so just a plus one foul. He might not think that's worth it. Oh, yeah, he will. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strength four, Wolf. Every well, time Calcium says I don't like that foul, I wouldn't have made that foul. You know he's fucking lying. <laughs> 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 oh no, he's not under the van the pickup first. Oh my god, the fourth one. Oh, oh my god, fuck you know. <laughs> oh my god. Calcium. My god. Oh, in a roll. Now he might be able to blitz out this uh, strength four wolf and get him downfield with the arch four yeah. one. He might be able to, like, you know. Now that he's clustered, this is a massive cluster here, isn't it? And yeah. Not, not just a cluster fuck, like it is a cluster of people. This could be real bad for calcium. Yeah. Some, uh, yeah, really there could be calcium. all sorts of ways to get a chain out. Where's the Adji? The Adji's on the edge. Yeah. Strength fork could just blitz his way through, potentially. I mean, Adji can't reach strength. So it's just pressure on for next turn. But if he gets yeah. two wolves in between him and his team. Yeah. And a flesh golem, potentially. <laughs> yeah, he can get a lot of. He can bez down and cause him problems, I'm sure. Yeah. Good stall tactics from Calcium. Yeah, he's going for the perfect eight turn stall, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> <laughs> He's trying to trump Elliot, isn't he? This eight, eight in a row. Elliot, Elliot failed nine of ten against me <laughs> last time we played. So he's gone. He's eight for eight failed so far. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's crazy, isn't it? No, so he, oh, so he blitzes and chains him. Yeah. There. They chain him again. Maybe. He could chain him off the pommer. If he fills that square above the flesh golem, he can hit the pommer down into the dead body and then chain him fully out. I think that works. Yeah, that does work. Um, but the problem is, then I would have wanted to have. Blitz somebody somehow. Yeah. I guess the other fleshy, the like the fleshy could have blitzed or something. I really would have wanted the edge for down down pressure. Yeah. As well. But I guess now he's gonna do blitz himself free or dodge himself free one of the two. He is on tackle. He's on double guard as well. Yeah, it's going to be a 1D blitz, 1D and a 2D blitz. And yeah. DP. Mm, is that 1D into 2D? Yeah. No, it's 1D into 1D because there's a guard on the fleshy as well. And he'd lose the fleshy assist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he would lose the fleshy. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? So maybe he's just, maybe he's just yeah. going to blitz for the fleshy and then dodge out. But... Well, yeah. chained, chained out, chained out the dog and blitzed with a fleshy, probably. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that lack of not doing anything. But that, I, think that I think he should blitz with the edge four anyway. Oh, he was just going for the surf. Ah, okay. 
Doesn't get him. Which is alright, isn't it? No. It would have been alright to have surfed him. Yeah, it did get rid of tackle though, so then he could do the dodge with a bit more safety. Although, Calcium's failed four one and nines in a row, so... <laughs> yeah. He uh, might be a little bit upset that he just instantly makes his, and yeah. then powers up Lodger. Yeah, I like the non-follow as well, so those two both stranded even though he didn't get the surf. He did fill another pickup, yeah, Pedro, he's failed four pickups, and now it's like he's going to struggle to... You know, even just with one wolf, but like if they'd been yeah. both wolves down. I mean, it would have been, it been nice to get that surf. But. He really could do with knocking that flesh golem down first time, couldn't he? And <laughs> yeah. uh, getting those guys free. He does. He needs bodies. Oh, he killed him. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Good no. God Almighty. That killed him. But he is so dangerous. <laughs> Regen level four players out for Noamto. That's pretty unlucky. Whichever way you slice it, it's served down to seven men. Yeah. But will it matter? Can the humans recover enough to for it to matter? <laughs> Crazy stuff. So You could dodge out GFI blitz that wolf. Can you just block with the him tackler free? on the sideline? You can you can block him free at the moment with the, you can block the catcher free. No there'll be no tackle on it, but I don't know, I don't think you even care about blitzing him yet. I think you've got to block that white and get the catcher back so you've got an extra player back. I think you just have to I think you just have to mark him and just get people back because mm. this is so terrible. I mean you could even blitz, you could no you can't blitz with either of them. You could one D blitz with one of the blitzes on the ground. I yeah, I looked at that early, the one D blitz. I quite like it. If you do it with the bottom guy, then he can move and then the other guy can move afterwards on a push. Yeah. And then on a wrestle I guess he just gets out and upfield, but it's not great on a wrestle. No. Like now, you're looking at damage control, I think. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, double marks him. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that blitz, you know, and then get tackle back into that square above the wolf, maybe. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Yeah, then he keeps, then he keeps the, then he's screened the wolf, hasn't he? Which is nice. Yeah. But then, of course, if, he's, <laughs> if he goes there, then there's the option of the other... Oh, he's drawn in. Oh, dear. Oh, so he gets the guard on there, so he gets the 2D. Yeah. But, um... Yes, you're right. Risking like the surf by going there. And the problem is, by blitzing with that one, he hasn't got much... many... hasn't got many places to go, has he? If he blitzed with the other one, he could have come down. Yes. He, the catcher could have come diagonally behind the other catcher, and then he's not surfable, and he's covering that sideline, but no, he's going to risk it. I mean, it's it's not easy, is it? There's guard and players in the way. Yeah. It's pretty... Oh, he failed nine in a row! <laughs> and then made the tenth. <laughs> so the flesh column, the flesh column could blitz double GFI to cancel both assists. But then the wolf's on the sideline after the block, so no, I don't like that. That's shit. Yeah. The Agi wolf, could he come around and do it? And then the strength wolf blitz surfs and runs down. Yeah, pressures. he could surf and pressure. I like that a lot. Agi wolf's got to make a 3 plus 2 plus, though. Yeah, you've got seven men. I mean, this is this. you can't ask for much more than this when you've got seven men, can you? I think, I think the dog comes in, or the dog blitzes, surfs, and, and runs downfield. <laughs> yeah, Shohan rerolls. How many rerolls is it saved? I mean, it's re Shohan's has probably saved one, two rerolls, probably. Yeah, two. I think I'd have been rerolling last turn, and then obviously this turn you absolutely have to. Yeah. But yeah, I'd have, I'd have definitely put one in last turn. Cheeky stun. 
Oh, this bludger again. Yeah. Bludge is alive. Okay, so after all of this, Calcium finally has the ball, and he's but he's only got three turns. Yeah, I think he's doing that, isn't he? He's getting the blood, blood stepper in there. He's used dodge. Two rerolls. And then yeah. he gets him right in. Yep. Yeah. So he's done so exactly. This is the blitz surf. It's a nice player. He doesn't get the surf. Now again denied. Oh, hit though. He kills him, so it's like he got a surf and it didn't cost him a spare yes. movement. Glorious. Yeah. He could even GFI and base the ball. I think he probably. Yeah, would. GFI base, strength for a wolf with tackle. That is not the player you want on your ball carrier. <laughs> and there he is. Do you want him anywhere near your balls, that guy? No. And I don't see anything other than. Um, block, block the Adji wolf. Dodge out and get it to the catcher, so it's another two one in nines. But also you, the the wolf's blood step, so that's a nightmare. Oh, it's blood step. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, I didn't see the side step. Oh man. Okay, so maybe you have to dodge him out before you get him the ball then. <laughs> it's rough, isn't it? Seven. You've got to make a pass. Any oh my god, this is all of a sudden horrible. Yeah. Maybe you just dodge with your pommer. He's got dodge. He just palms him. Yeah. Is he gonna blitz with the camera? Pom in. And then one in nine away, pass it to him. Yeah. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. Yeah, here he goes. Got him. Oh, he needed that power, didn't he? Right, I don't think he can pile on. Oh, pile on. Oh. Always pile on. Boo! No, you can't <laughs> pile on there. Needs to keep tackle on him. Okay, huge dodge incoming. Yeah, this fucking throw with his aversion to one in nines has to make a one in three dodge, but obviously back by a reroll. Yeah. Oh, he's, the he's man moving who the catcher. Even pick up the ball. Oh, even calcium! No, no oh. calcium! No. Oh, he's going for the long bomb. No calcium! No. I mean, he's got accurate, but it's still going to be at least a four plus if he GFIs. Is he just going to block? No. Oh, he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mad lad, Calcium. He's what? got some balls on him, hasn't he? Well, he would have failed the dodge, wouldn't he? So that's uh... yeah, he would. That looks a dice based analysis. He was right. <laughs> right. This is fucking risky as balls, though, isn't it? Like this is four plus two plus to hit the ball. Yeah. Like could easy, could easy backfire here. Yeah, I think he's got to dodge through and try and protect this catcher with the other one. Two one in nine dodges to try and get to uh, to the side of him. Oh, he's, no, got, he's, he's got two oh. more turns left, so that's good. Didn't have to go crazy. Okay, yeah. Ooh, risky bonehead. I don't think I take that one, but fair enough. I'm mm. aver I'm completely averse to any risk. <laughs> I mean, it's the zombie possibly. couldn't have done that much, could he? Really? Tag a tag a dude, but he didn't tag them with GFI anyway. I guess this this strength three one is pretty in a good spot. It's hard to tag the strength three. Yeah, yeah, I like where the strength three is. It's better than where I was suggesting to to go. I think you just drop back the white. And then go for the stupid wolf play. Yeah. Which isn't even that stupid, obviously. No. Falls twos with dodge. Oh, 
Oh, moving three zombie. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, all you had is an MA3 zombie with block. So, yeah, in that case, non follow definitely better. I don't know, it gets, this gets him in the way a bit, right? I guess he was in the way a bit if he hadn't. So, yeah, he's probably more in the way if he doesn't follow, actually, thinking about it. No, no, he's yeah, up more on the way this way. He's more. He's actually more on the way in this way. Maybe he didn't notice that he uh, had MA3, but yeah, I quite like him not being able to re-tag him with the same guy. Unless he GFIs. That you don't follow on mummies a lot of the time, do you? So they have to GFI to get back relevant. Yep. Yeah. Maybe, maybe it doesn't make any difference at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly, Fan Fox. Oh, God, he'd, he'd be dead, wouldn't he? If, 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 if Blood Bowl was real really and all the fluff... <laughs> with all I the fluff and Blood Bowl, if Blood Bowl was real, that thrower was, is not going to survive the team talk. <laughs> no. <laughs> not in a game where deaths are legal. Not only legal, but encouraged. <laughs> yeah. I would, I would have just done the blitz straight away, I think. Because, like, you don't have to tag. I would definitely have the, the, the white back D. Yeah. You've got to go for this. 4 plus 2 plus. I don't like that without a reroll. Or, oh, no, don't say he's going to play safe. I mean, maybe it's okay, but. Oh, he played safe. I mean, I was guilty of that the other day. To be fair, it's it's kind of normal to do the yeah to do the kind of safe play that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's what I do a lot of the time. Yeah, it's it's understandable. I not take yeah at the very simplest form, it's not taking the GFI when you're leaving on like a fifty percent shot on the ball. Mm. You don't dare take the seventeen percent fail instead. It's you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Skrill. But it's it's a safe it's a safe thing. It's a safe move to make, isn't it? It's safer than a four plus two plus, basically. But the four plus two plus just wins in the game a, a yeah. good percentage of the time. Five, six, seventh square hitting him, and then he could score off of oh. any scatter. Basing. I don't like not basing him at this point. Oh, I was assuming that was the whole point was to base. Yeah, it was just letting him score, letting him do the pass and run away. It seems crazy. And now it's a three plus pass with pass. Yeah, three plus accurate and pass skill. Is that a three? I think it could be a four. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't use the loseometer very much. Oh, he's moved seven. Yeah, it might be one GFI to make it a three plus with accurate. Because that gets him on the same line as uh, one yeah, more forward and on the same line as the catcher. So yeah, it might be one GFI for a three plus. Yeah, and that stops the uh, stops the intercept as well, which you definitely want to stop. Yeah. Well, I, I hated that from Nando. Really hated that. No Amto. Albundi Al Bundy is. is no Amto. Ah, I didn't know that. Yeah. These people not using the same name as their Twitch name, I, I don't know. It's not on, is it? It's totally not it's on. It's just not. Yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be Flicky Flag once Blood Bowl 3 drops. <laughs> Oh. This fucking thrower! <laughs> oh, he's absolute dog shit, this thrower. Oh, he made it. He made it and he caught it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and off he runs. Run, calcium, run. If only he'd uh, kept that, if only he'd kept that white back here. I mean, it was still going to be very good, but I think he had to either base the ball or, uh, or dodge through. To do neither was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at those two walls now. Yeah. 
sat there looking pretty, nothing to do. But, you know, it's much easier for us sat here watching when you're playing and the pressure's on and you don't want to make a daft mistake and lose the match or whatever. Yep. <laughs> no, I mean, I can definitely forgive people to do like, for like doing the safe thing, but I think the safe thing was basing him with, with strength or blood step. Yes. I don't think this was really anything. Yeah, if you're not going to go for your for your player, you've got to base him with strength four again. Because then he's got to dodge out backwards. The throw is horrific from there. <laughs> yeah. Throws used to reroll every turn. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, five rerolls to pick up. <laughs> then a reroll the yeah. block and then a reroll the yeah. pass. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Oh, imagine on Blood Bowl 3 if Calcium had like four re rolls and it was the last turn and he all he had to do was pick up the ball and it's just one, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> no, it's not that you can't do that. You oh, yeah, it's different actions, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you can't re roll the re roll still. But, um, right. It's going to yeah, be great for like one turn as where you use a rear on the pick up and then a rear on the catch and then a rear on the block and then a rear on the GFI and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to have Skaven and Woodells with five rear rolls, six rear rolls. Yeah, I think it could happen if there's no redrafts. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> In fact, I think it will happen. Never mind, could. I think it will happen if there's no redrafts. Well, it'll happen at least once because you'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> The king of finding the uh, the metas. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I love your Jervis Johnson story where you had that <laughs> ridiculous player that he'd never even dream someone might think about making. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> you literally <laughs> see it. Yeah, yeah, you're a game designer. Why are you not seeing this? Yeah, <laughs> fucking ten-year-old kid. <laughs> fucking little ten-year-old. No, it wasn't ten. Fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Fourteen I was then. <laughs> Don't do anything, Calcium. Your luck has not been with you this half. Don't do a thing. Just score. <laughs> yeah, just score. Don't even think of doing anything. I mean, like that's the obvious thing to do, but again. He's oh, four, he's five, six. He can hit anybody. Oh no, he can't. He can hit he can hit either of well, he can probably just hit this one, can't he? No, he can hit either of these two. No, they're both five. No, he can hit this one with a throw. You can hit the just the guard with Pom. I mean, you should hit it, right? You should hit the guard. Yes, you bomb. should. You're right. So you bring one guard in, the thrower comes around for an assist. Yeah, you you hit the guard with your Pommer. You should do that, but there's certainly an argument for... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just scoring. Because the throw is involved in this player, even minorly, he is involved. <laughs> 10 is the number of tools he used to have a 13 or 14 I mean he could actually blitz with the thrower and then get another hit with the no, uh, no, no the bomb. no, no you do not do anything with that fucking thrower you never roll dies with that thrower again and, you, just and you suck it after this match welcome <laughs> Calcio <laughs> Put it on the bench for the second half. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, movement seven blood jet. Nah, no, I'm not fielding him. He is shit. He is gone. The, <laughs> <laughs> the last of the summer wine reboot. It could be, couldn't it? Yeah. Perfect yeah, eight turn stall. Now. Perfect eight turn stall. Textbook blood ball from Carl's <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, give him some shitty linemen to hit. Um, oh no, he's got to protect the one turner. He's going to have to defend this properly, isn't he? Yeah. Stand firm and a sidestep. Yeah, he's still got 11 men. Still fielding 11 men. Despite going out to 7 on that drive, he's still got 11. And he's yeah, still got Edge 4. Sidestep. Edge 4 block. Can't take liberties. <laughs> well, yes, he's playing the character table like for the, uh, <laughs> for the, <laughs> for the uh, 
<laughs> Put him on the yellow vest. Punish him. <laughs> For the things. <laughs> yeah, the catcher. The catcher on the uh, the catcher on the yellow vest. Oh man, catcher throw on the yellow vest. God, I can't speak English. And he's put the catcher on the yellow vest. His plus move, his plus strength catcher's going in instead. Surely he's going to change him. You can't put him on the yellow vest. Like stand firm, yes. Sidestep, yes. Not this catcher. <laughs> He's just gone Rupa 5, he obviously thinks that's the best way of stopping the, <laughs> the dodge in and blitz from behind. Yeah. But if you have one either side, like one directly behind the side step or one directly behind... Yeah, this is not. This is terrible from calcium. Because, <laughs> because he's got he's got uh, he's got frenzy. So yeah, you, you cannot set up one back like this. Now he just frenzies in and then gets the side step. Gets him forward, yeah, so now forward. he just runs round and blitzes the uh, the dirty player. Uh, not the dirty player. No, the uh, the other ones. The the ones that are one square back. E either one of those linemen. Oh yeah, right. I was thinking blitz them into the catcher on the line, but yeah, that that makes much more sense. Yeah, yeah. look at the cat. Yeah, the catcher's the catcher's sidestep, isn't he? So like, you could just try oh, and power the catcher. Ca you could just try and power the catcher and, and hit the hit the lineman, like hit the guard yeah. line on that. But now you don't even need to do that. Now you can just blitz the uh, blitz this line off straight in. And you sell for it. Oh yeah, it's not a catcher on the line anymore, is it? It's just a guard lineman. Yeah, guard lineman. Oof. Oof, you really should have had two back. Now, it is hard yeah. against the Frenzy guys, to be fair. I think just the normal grid that he had originally was better than this. I think he's uh, forgotten about Frenzy or not quite realised how, how it can work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, table leg. Well, he's taken off his headband. He's taken off his headband. <laughs> uh, he was in here. He's, he's off having a pizza right now. He was in at the start, table leg. But he's, he's having a pizza. I mean, to be fair, PC's in ring attire is pretty much uh, it's pretty much appropriate for commentary, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, I couldn't imagine PC without his uh, without his purple suit. <laughs> We've got suits. So he's got a jumpsuit. It's quite reasonable. And I like how I've gone, uh, I'm colour coordinating with him as well. <laughs> yeah. Purple tie, just to give me that little bit of interest. <laughs> this looks okay. very doable though. Yeah, very, very doable. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. It's probably better to leave him free to not have to do it. Oh, what? Three pushes? Yeah, so he gets the first one off the blitz, second yeah. one off this guy, and third one with the white. Yeah. I would have. I would have probably actually swapped the. Uh, I would probably have the fleshies to make the box. Probably get three dice with it. Yeah, I think three D with a fleshy. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, that? what a kick! What a kick! Calcium wow. like a dog. Yeah. I mean, if that was that. It could have been a more important player, but it's not bad, and the kick is amazing. Yeah, the kick is the biggest part of that, and it could it could have bounced out as well, couldn't it? It could have it could have been a touchback. Yeah, yeah, a touchback would have been a disaster. <laughs> I but, thought I did the kick. <laughs> you know, edge four everywhere, elf, elf BS. Yeah, and I don't think you need that guy. He just brings him in for the assist, and then. Puts him into there, blocks him into there, and then puts in two players. Round, and then uh, 
to do something. There. He's gone. Oh, yeah, he doesn't even need the assist, does he? Of course not. Strength 4. Wonderful. <laughs> I think he can still make it 3D with that flesh. Oh, pal. Hey! Okay, gets away with it. It was a lot of pushes. There was a lot of dice involved. But Calcium will be very happy that it's failed on the first attempt. Now he just gets punched in the face with Mighty Blow instead. <laughs> Bad lineman. He's fine. Tanks it. I mean, he, he made four removals, oh, Fanny Fox. If, if he hadn't done that, those nine pickup fails in a row <laughs> would, have, would have screwed him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. That got him, that bought him some breathing right? room. Okay. Yeah, he has. He had has his blitz. He has has his blood just powder. But they haven't been cast or anything. No, I think there was one kill, wasn't there? But that was instead of a surf, so it sort of evened out. Yeah. I have a pop at the ogre, and then uh, maybe a foul. Nope. I guess he's dirty player, not foul. Yeah, he, I think he can't foul now anymore unless he gets this guy back. Um, I mean, maybe he does foul. I don't know. Yeah, I'd maybe risk one. The thing is, Calcium's got reserves, and he's got bombs. So... He's, got a, he's got a babe, so it's a 66% to get him back. Yeah, but I mean, even if you don't get it back, and even if you do get it, like, who do you foul? Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a bit crap. Like, Calcium's got 13 men, and he's got a of his own. I would yeah. leave that fussed about fouling a shitter. Like, obviously, fouling yeah, a I was player. thinking the order I'd foul. Yeah. A three dirty player foul on the orb is nothing to sniff at. Wouldn't have been terrible. Back. But he didn't get him down, so it didn't matter. Yeah. Okay, so Calcium prides himself on his defense. He loves playing defense. Yeah, the best defensive coach. Yeah. On earth. Is what he says. <laughs> it is. <laughs> going deep though. He's arguably the best defensive coach in his house. <laughs> <laughs> and that's right, coming up fast. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty close. <laughs> oh, that's not. That's not. That's not it. What was the other one? There was one that was just retro. Um. <laughs> Uh, what league is this? It's like the CCL playoffs. Oh, I just did exclamation point retro away. No idea, recent 25. Oh, he hasn't played much recently. He had a bit of a run where he was really sort of putting in the games and I guess he's lost a bit of interest maybe or found a different interest. Yeah. These youngsters, they can't stick with anything nowadays. Yeah, but hey, from from thirty three games, fifty percent is very good, isn't it? From like your first thirty three games, fifty yeah, percent is yeah. damn good. I mean, my first thirty three games would have been because <laughs> I was playing a lot of guys at the games workshop who could barely tie their own shoelaces. But <laughs> yeah, like on yeah, my first thirty games online, definitely not fifty percent. Yeah, that is really good. Yeah, I'm back, having had some dinner and a brief row with the wife. Um, oh classic use there of the wolf into stand firm. Um, have a, instead of meaning that the wolf doesn't end up trapped on a piece, it did leave the wolf trapped on a piece. So <laughs> perhaps the classic misuse of wolf into stand firm there. <laughs> yep. Oh dear, it was, uh, it was a bit rough, I thought. I don't know if you saw the last turn PC, but... Uh... There was like a dodge through to hit the ball, or there was a blitz to base, and he just blitzed and stood and did nothing. Well, it's not going to get the result you need in a chalice game. No, played safe. Just gave, just gave him dice and getting it away. Still, I mean, we've got all the necromantic team back and on the field, everyone healthy. Yeah. And no humans banged out either, so I mean, perhaps he's thinking as long as I take this to overtime, you know, I've got the wolves, I've got the speed. 
yeah. yeah. Trying to see the positive, perhaps that's the thought, but... Yeah, and I mean, it, it was rough for Nando, right? Yeah, he, he, he lost two people instantly, and he was always on the back foot, and then he, he was down to seven pretty quickly, so... But it... Did it I mean, did it look like he was trying a one turn there? I didn't... Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. yeah he tried the... He tried the one yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, very much so. Okay. He just, he just got... Out. Lodger again. PC, what pizza did you have? Uh, I had a uh, Italian Sicilione, which Ooh. had some posh salami on it and some chilies, basically. Good choice. Mm. And was the brown with the white over who got the last slice? No, it was over me saying that uh, working for a corporate company is essentially selling your soul, <laughs> rather than pointing out the advantages to our children in getting a high-powered corporate job. I just thought you were trying to slip her your own posh salami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've said it many times, Jim. I've been married 22 years. I'm not heterosexual or homosexual. I'm post-sexual. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dear Volk, we aim to please. <laughs> Oh dear, this is frenzy trap. Yeah. This isn't. Oh no, he's gone backwards. Okay, that makes sense. And then he gets the uh, he gets the uh, gang foul as well, doesn't he? Silly me, I didn't even think it'd gone that way. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, for me, I'm I'm hence I'm open to offers. You know, I've, I've said that before. <laughs> yeah, pizza toppings and the sexual pro pro proclivity of middle-aged men. That is what you get at this stream. I was obviously talking pizza toppings. But <laughs> oh dear, hello, oh, Fabian. <laughs> oh dear me! Oh, I only read the first part of that, and I I thought you were saying I think most of us would offer to please you. <laughs> and and then I reread it and saw that you want me to stop, so I definitely will. <laughs> I want to know what a raunchy dwarf poem is, though. <laughs> I'm not sure you do, and if you do, I think. There are some people with that sort of collection. <laughs> what has this been called? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, he's dead. He's it's worse him. than that. He's dead, Jim. Oh, he's appled. He's, his apples worked. Whew. Well, Not will even be... set off. Calcium Killed an orga, the ref didn't even see it. <laughs> and fantastically, the, of course, one shot apothecary there doing exactly the same job as Regen and giving you a 50% chance to recover a key piece. Yeah. yeah. Regen, of course, comes on all of the regenerating players, but, you know, should it be anything like as bad as apothecary? They pay 20k per player, you know. Who there? Yeah. In the idiotic. Uh... <laughs> in the idiotic reverse engineered player cost formula the Gallic Starscraper invented. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do you really want me to talk at length about no. how appalling that is? No. Okay, good. No, Let's but I not. agree. I agree 100%. No, oh, I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's nonsense. Uh, Flicky is from Sunderland, believe it or not, Table Lake, but lives in Leeds. I believe. I believe I'm correct in that. Oh, <laughs> he's killed him back! <laughs> Yeah, now, the apothecary won't work on that one, because it doesn't have one. <laughs> but of course it regenerates, because regenerate definitely the equal of apothecary, <laughs> and in no way better. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, that's a great point, how are you yeah, eating poor sexuality? I used to work for the Royal Mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Brilliant. So both both guys have lost. Both coaches have lost. A, both teams' coaches have lost a player, but both coming back. But now Calcium's out of apples. Both see, both both sides got four re rolls. I I think the difference between losing um, a zombie dirty player and a uh, rowdy stand firm guard ogre is uh, is definitely advantage in necro, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly as uh, the stand firm ogre is great for keeping those golems where you want them and stopping them advancing just like they stop you advancing. Yeah, because it wasn't, you know, it never really got m much into the drive on his offense, but on defense that ogre right. could have been 
really, really big player. <laughs> but it won't be. Yeah. It is a trident, yeah. It is. He is deploying the trident, his calcium. That's why he calls himself the best defensive coach in Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Does he? He does. Oh. <laughs> that and the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl. He's got two, two claims. Yeah. Okay. He does know that we have lots of American coaches that have extensive gun collections. <laughs> At which point, slapping them with an open hand, a bit less effective. You're quite uh, handy with a, a rapier, I hear. I, I have a certain amount of training with rapiers, and uh, I would suggest I'm more naturally built for a broadsword. Mm. But I don't like to brag, Fricky. <laughs> no, that's one thing we know about you. Very humble. Apart from that and fucking two hundred meter with... swimming badge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm very proud of that. <laughs> you never mentioned my cycling proficiency badge, which is another thing I'm equally proud of. Oh, really? I'm safe to cycle in urban areas. Wow. Oh. I don't, but you know, I could if I wanted to. You could. The option is there. Yes. It is actually legal to do that without the cycling proficiency badge, but it makes it safer. And that's important. <laughs> but actually, I was talking to a coach called Thor. I'm not very well known on uh, online, but does a lot of tabletop tournaments and a fantastic painter of Blood Bowl pieces. Mm. And uh, and he does uh, ma he does recreationism, where he uses uh, spears and swords and things. And uh, he could he could certainly have me at that too. So. I'll settle for just so, like recreating famous battles. <laughs> yes, I think so. One of the um, back in the day, like years and years ago, one of the white dwarf modelers <laughs> I lost his hand doing that. I think to remember. It's a somewhat career limiting move, I imagine, for a modeler. <laughs> well, he he got a really cool claw attached to it, and then he could use his other hand to do the grinding and the molding and whatever else is involved, and. Uh, that was just sort of his uh, pincer. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, laughing at that. I'm laughing at Fimir, who said PC was there back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've kept up my skills from 500 AD, where I uh, first learned to use a sword. Yeah, yeah. It was one. It was one of the Perry twins, wasn't it? One of the Perry twins is. Uh, yes. Is the one. Yeah. I think a cannon exploded while he was trying to. It was. Yeah, it was a cannon. Yeah. Fire a fake cannon. Now the classic wolf blitz there, uh, not frenzy trapping itself because of the, the strength four, but still having to dodge off afterwards. Yeah, the classic dodge away afterwards, you love to see it. Oh, hey Skoro. Actually what I love to see is people leading their wolves in danger after a wolf blitz, but sadly it's very rare nowadays. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it was a cannon, it was, I'm sure it was the cannon itself, Skoro, like it misfired or something. I'm sure that's what it was. Well, at least that's what they said in the White Dwarf yeah, at the time. Um, yes, it was definitely what was said. <laughs> that's just what they want you to think. Did he? Oh, okay. Oh, fair enough then. It's a very interesting defence from Calcium. He's still keeping some of his more aggressive pieces really central, allowing him to... Of course, the speed of these wolves, backed by some reasonably pacey whites, means that there could be a sweep down one flank. That's a lot less Calcium. cool then, isn't it? Just trying to keep that honest. Yeah. Oh. Fucking Skuro ruining my childhood here. <laughs> yeah. Father Skuro. And he's ruined so many childhoods. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Only with his demystifying comments, Jim. I don't know what you thought I meant. That's... Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, boy. Come on, Billy, done me in. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. He's got he's got a two D the the Lionel hasn't he and then three D yep. blitz with tackle with the wolf. 
Okay, maybe we should actually talk about the Blood Bowl for a little bit. It's an idea, isn't it? It is. It is. <coughs> Here's me coming in, lowering the tone. Yeah. <laughs> but with one of the best comments I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like the follower. He had 3D on him, no, there, didn't he? I, I'm not understanding that, really. No, I don't like the... Pu I, I would have pushed him away as well, anyway, but... Even then. Yeah, I don't hate keeping him there. He's under a lot of threat. Yeah. But it does give the guard to you know to bang on the whites and retreat afterwards. Yeah. And the follow. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I guess this way he just hits forward and then he can dodge away. He's got an easy dodge, yeah. easy path to dodge away. <laughs> Something that Necro coaches always have to consider. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, it, it's coming with the strength four, isn't it? It, it does mean that you know you don't need a on the any push you don't need a second assist you don't need any assists in the first place so. yeah yeah but i mean it was so nice to get 3d wasn't it i love getting three dice yeah yeah i think that would have tempted me yeah now that cage is going to need closing before he takes the block of the blitz of course because there is just the one he uh, he kept on the whites could dodge around and come into that ghoul's face <laughs> Jimmy. What do you mean, Jimmy? You're the one who said it. You're the one saying it. Can't act all innocent now. Hey, if he'd had three dice, he might have saved a reroll. He might have also triple scored, but hey. He might have done. <laughs> or done the only thing known to make Artemis happy, which is a triple skull into another triple skull. Yeah. Into double ones on the armor. He loves that as well. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got to be clear that you've rolled quad ones, even though the other two ones didn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, the other two helped you. Oh dear. Now the other disadvantage of that follow-up is, of course, it does allow you to blitz that and push the guard off using a chain push. Yeah. So it's not going to need to dodge off the whites. So yeah. pushing it there, I didn't hate leaving it in threat. But following up means it's incredibly easy to recover it afterwards. I think that's yeah. the blitz I'd be targeting this time. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, yeah and just have a bit of a recovery turn, get your pieces back in, out in front. Yeah, you can you can bang this dirty player zombie over on the other side as well. So it gives you two hits. Yeah. And that's probably two enough. Two hits. An armor hit. Nothing with the first. And if you do take this zombie hit, even if it's a push, you can then stand up the downed piece and uh, the guard can push back. Okay, or not do that. <laughs> it's fine too. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I definitely like that chain out. Well, as I said, it, you know, I mean, it wouldn't have helped with the one in nine, to be honest. It wouldn't, but, you know, you've still got to... You know, you can't... Dice base analysis and all that. I, I, don't, yeah. know what, I, don't, I don't know what chain out you're talking about, so I just, just keep quiet. So hitting from that square where he's just put the guard into the zombie and then chaining out the other guard so he's free. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that would have worked, wouldn't it? And then in case of a push, the one you, the guard you chained out would have had a second go at the same piece, but of course the one in nine would have stopped the push. Yeah, it wouldn't so have Put two more assists in and uh, and got another hit with that guard, but of course it still leaves it under the guns of the mighty blow guard, at uh, the mighty blow white. Yes. And Which, and as it's a blockless piece, is a it's not it's not ideal, is it? It's a death sentence. <laughs> if it is, you're now going to be you know the the harbinger of doom for calcium's humans, aren't you? If yeah, that piece sorry. now dies. Sorry, Calcium. Oh, well, that's, that's a lot lamer, isn't it? Losing it in a car accident on the way to it. Than it being a cannon exploding. I think he's lying. I think it was the cannon. That's a such better story. Yeah. Why would you tell anyone the truth <laughs> at, like, at that point? <laughs> if you'd started that, you'd keep going with it. Totally. That's true, yeah, that's true, Boomer. Yeah, he is the most dangerous man in Blood Bowl. He's the best defensive coach. He's got four rerolls. Is he going to use some of those rerolls for a rowdier defense? 
or is he going to... Well, if he, I mean, if he can keep them dry already, he's at 4-2 in terms of equity. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, to me, more important than, than kick equity, which is, you know, if, if it is a, a tie at the end of overtime, so eight more turns after the normal 60, uh, then whoever has the most re-rolls gets that number of bonus re-rolls over the other one as a plus to a D6 roll to see who wins the game. I'm sure most people know that, but one or two may not. Uh, overtime format's not being hugely common on Blood Bowl 2. Thank you very um, much, PC. But if, if we go to overtime, it's much more about having the four re-rolls for overtime, either to try and turn them over or to drive your own drive home. Yes. Yeah. To me, that's the key advantage of them. I mean, if it gets towards the point where it kicks that likely, I might try and keep a re-roll or two back for that, if I'm in a good position with it. But, you know, re-rolls win games much more than they win kicks. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Nice there. Now, whilst we're not in a desperately time-based situation for the Necro, I'm not surprised he followed that one up. I do think he needs to start making some progress forwards. Yeah. Only yeah. four turns right. after this, and I know the wolves are very quick, but still, you don't so, really want to have to potato a wolf. Hero alignment. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, Four rerolls are just for the throwing. It's true. I was going to say he's taken two to the face and is still <laughs> coming, but I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm, you said I'm it now. I'm not. Good point, girl. <laughs> he's been hit twice and is still standing up. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so the girl piece get knocked over, but Mighty Blow didn't do a job, and it's fine. It's it says in the stream description it's it's not family friendly, so it's okay. <laughs> Adults only stream it says. <laughs> just what yeah, time of movie does this? It, it, it did make me feel a bit weird. Flicky, with the amount of swearing you do, I. I would suggest that's a compulsory tick. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It has to be ticked, but the idea of something being adults only does bring other things to mind. I have a, I have a beautiful moment in my memory where you had had some dice you didn't particularly like. So, you know, you were playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> and a very small, cute boy came in and explained to you the <laughs> Harry Potter spell he was doing. And the wonderful change in your demeanour and she told him to get the fuck out because you were busy losing a Blood Bowl game. And he said, but Daddy, I can magic your dice back. <laughs> it, it broke my little heart. <laughs> and I think possibly his too. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> no, but it's a good story. It is a good story, and that's and what that's matters. much more important than the truth. Yeah, it's Far more important. important. Mantids so he came in, in his, with his Harry Potter wand, did a little spell, and you were absolutely charming to him. Yeah, and then later, I beat him for putting me off during a Blood Bowl match. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Even Calcium <laughs> takes, takes a step away from his angriness notebook. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, if you, if you want to see Mantids, you can join Dial's Discord, where uh, PC has indeed posted his Mantids already. <laughs> Only one, as I've said. You know, the first one's free. If people oh, want more, this. they'll have to pay. I missed that one. <laughs> I've heard all about it. But Someone I accused never... me of having small nipples, and I, I'm just not having that. I'm not having that said about me. <laughs> I have no body shame. I'm proud of all, every... Uh, Huge stone of me. <laughs> that is a terrible slur to put on somebody. Isn't it just? Oh dear. Nipples like bullets. I tell you what, you could be—you could team up with Satterfield for tiny, tiny feet and tiny nips. <laughs> oh dear. Are we dodging out this lineman. He's taken two hits last turn. Is he? Is he dodging at this turn? Oh no, the guard. Down first. 
That's a fine place for the guard, though. I think now you can make a push up the uh, up the side here, can't you? Where that where that catcher is. You know what's it called? Yeah, that catcher is a side step, but it does need to get banged on with something with tackle. Yeah. Um, but you know there is fantastically a wolf with strength four and tackle. Yeah. yeah, so you're going to have 3D on the first hit, can't you? Absolutely. And then 2D on the second, so it would be, you know, kind of hard to make sure you get 2D and uh, 3D in both of those, but that would give you five dice to try and find a uh, yeah. power or a push bow. I think he could have if he'd hit with the other flesh and then the other one dropped in as a guard assist. Yes, and then uh, you could have put the dirty player around the other side of it, yeah. which absolutely would have given an assist on any sidestepping square. It looks like he's pushing up the right-hand flank, though, yeah. doesn't it? No, I'm has got other ideas. He's continuing up the right. I think I like the switch there, but let's see what he's got planned. I mean, there's some nice chains with a wolf. Oh, there is. Yeah, and he is. He's taking the chain. Is he going to push the downed player onto the edge? No. No, he's pushing into stand firm. And not no. standing firm. He's going for the surf. Into the surf. Okay, that's nicely handled. That is a stand firm piece he's put on the edge, so that'll be safe. Doesn't need to dodge the wolf away. He can reinforce it with the white stepping forwards. Yep. And he can surf this guard off. Yes, that's all right. Yeah. Isn't it? Two re rolls, yeah. but not one on one and nine this, though. Yes. And uh, hence he's putting the uh, the ball in as well as an assist, and perhaps even the wolf. Yeah, then he can't go. That would make it three die. Maybe he does. Yeah, maybe he does make it three D. Yeah. Yeah, the wolf sidestep as well. So. Yeah, make it three D. Cool. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way to get to that ball. With that ridiculous dice. Well, I I mean I hate to disagree with you, Flicky, but the. A um, sidestepping catcher can definitely get to the ball. It's, it just can't really do anything once it gets there. <laughs> yes, I think that's that was more my uh, thinking. Yeah, it I doesn't like have wrestle. Good. It has block, so you wouldn't want to take uh, a two red dice on it, and nothing can get there to assist it. But you can certainly base the ball if that's something that you know, you've read, read it, and decide is a value to you. Yeah. Yeah. I know I'm never going to get into saying that. <laughs> Yeah, nice play. Well split. It was nicely spotted from the one there. The problem is, it's it was turn thirteen. He's got three turns left to score, and he it's just putting me yeah. what three it's six a, of his players in a nine in a nine square area. I don't like that to be honest. Yes. I mean, as we said, there was a lovely space up the left. Uh, there were ways to get six dice on that catcher with tackle. Yeah. Uh, and then that would have opened up a huge chunk of the field and now you have absolutely isolated a lot of your team in one little corner of the field and if calcium's sensible and it looks like he is he's just going to elf wall up in front of that and say right come through me then yeah. you've got three turns what are you going to you know, how are you getting through yeah. of course the speed of those wolves does mean that they can still reposition centrally and still have a lot of scoring options available to them but yeah. it's not a huge heap of time to do it no exactly yeah he's got to get shifting now of course, the one thing that really does save the Necro is the Golems are locking down that central area. Yeah. And it does give him somewhere to come back to next turn and then yeah, leap he's forward to the Yeah, he's, yeah. He's, there's a lot of space there at the moment. A lot of space. Yeah, I think, that, I think that catch, uh, the thrower has to go in. Oh, no, he's moved. He's moved. Oh. So we're taking a hit on this golem. Oh, we got him. We get him. It's really strong down that side, but now, like, he's given him no option but to switch now, isn't he? And you know, yes. he's got he's got a bunch of fast players, so he should be. Able and to if get this uh, if the golem on the furthest left goes for a nice early hit and takes a power out, then there's a huge amount of space for most. of the, I mean, the wolves can yeah. definitely dominate it, but the rest of the team can. The whites will be able to get in there too. Well, I think I've split that that lino with like. Yeah, that's another great option. It ties you up on the guard afterwards, but it does give that golem space to get rowdy and move even further forwards. Yeah, it could even get round and tag that um, that thrower, and then just everyone else moves into that huge amount of space that's left. The gaping hole. But he just he just blocks, and that's okay. Yeah, it, he even... it does take the block. 
I even have blitzed with the golem. Well, and if you blitz with a wolf there, of course, that uh, that push allows you a second go, and you definitely free the golem. I do. Uh, not sure I love that. However, he's put a nice chain in here, which means that the zombie hit is going to be able to get him some more movement. Oh, but another one in nine there. Takes the player down, but a pow there would have allowed him to push the golem out and got a slightly wider base to break to yeah. spring from, or you know, perhaps even move the uh, the pieces on the other golem away from it. But he's right up in the middle now. I think I was. Oh yeah, he's yep. back. He just yeah, that's the position he, he wanted to be in. It's it's fine. Yeah. I think Calcium's going to have to do some dodging and just really try and get a wide defense. He's got nine players left, but the problem is one is yep. trapped, so he's got it really. The pace of that agility wolf, you know, means a handoff is only a two plus, and then it's got obviously eight moves naturally, two more if it really wants to risk it. Might be time to risk the sidestepper on the ball. Certainly what looks a decent way into this cage right now is the guard white. <laughs> um. <laughs> and as you said, the sidestepper can, can take out the zombie as well on the other side of the front edge of this cage. And perhaps base the ball that way. But of course, an agility for ghoul, it's a, it's a 1 in 36. If it wants to dodge off, it's it's going yes. to. He's not yeah. going to be too frightened by that. Yeah, and even if it's based, you've got the, uh, the hand off. Got the hand off to the wolf, yeah. The key thing is this cage does need to roll just a couple of spaces forward next turn uh, to make sure it's definitely in range on turn 16. But where it's going to roll is probably the sideline, and that might give Calcium just that chance to get a narrow, you know, like he had this time in the uh, the elf screen. Telling me there's a chance. <laughs> oh, I love that movie. Oh, he's going in. He's going in hard. He is. Oh, my God. Oh. One in nine have been a real feature of this game, haven't they? This certainly yeah. the second half. I didn't see much of the first. If only yeah. had jugs instead of piling on. <laughs> if only we all had jugs. Yeah, and that's, that's I'd never leave the house. Very good skill. <laughs> and that is why. I mean, I do. To be fair, I don't know what I'm saying. You know, I, I do quite a nice pair actually. <laughs> Yeah, that is the thing about re-rolling safe blocks, isn't it? Yeah. This is a little bit tricky because, like, he doesn't want to have to blitz, does he? Yeah, I guess he can just block that uh, that blodger. He can block the blodge thing and stuff. Yes, and there's some nice chains he can do there if he chooses to. Not sure I love that one, but yeah, I think okay. it's okay. Gets the fleshy hit, doesn't he? And then he gets to move him. Yeah. And, uh, still not really great. I would have, I would have rather hit the. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't have done it. I would have hit the uh, bl the blodge guard blitzer with the wrestler. So that's yeah, that's that's the, the move I was looking at. And then perhaps pushing a fleshy free. And then that gives you the space to break through the middle. Bring one of the two wolves with you oh, afterwards, and probably a flesh golem as well. The yeah. thrower is... Uh, yeah, as I said, these one-in-nines have been dominating these on this drive so far on both sides of the pitch. Pro's redeemed himself. I guess he just blitzes with the wrestler now. Blitzes the other blotch. <laughs> Blitzer with the wrestle. And then dodge away his wolf. To uh, the cover. Yes, I mean, the, the, the guard on the white is now looking like it could be very vital, isn't it? But the problem is, this is going to end up very thin on cover when the ball does move forwards. Yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. that move. But I mean, I think you're going to have to potato on the far left. Potato, of course, is when you run forwards without a full cage around you, possibly even hittable, just he because you need dodge, to get into range. He could dodge out the edge wolf and blitz from the diagonal to get a chin. No, he can't chin the white free because the. He could, yeah, he could. The, the problem with good. that is, the problem with that is going for a, like a two, you know, even a two plus with a reroll, doing that before 
you move the ball is horrible, isn't it? Which is why I would have blocked with that wrestler just to get the yeah. just to get the ball up first. You got him. That's what he definitely needed though was a power on one of those blodgers. Yeah, yeah nice. he got it. I mean, it's yeah. still, you know, it's the blodge on them. I mean, the, the paucity of tackle on the necro is, is a problem. Yeah. But that power does give him some options now. I mean, the ball can the certainly get free and on the left. Uh, I'd be stranding those two positions absolutely, stranding the two humans right over on the other side of the pitch. They're not going to get in range. Yeah. The pack that is just to the right of where the ball was is uh, kept slightly honest by the fact that two of them, are, three of them, are down. Uh, yeah. And that there's a zombie behind them. So really, it's that blodger that went down and the blodger that isn't down yet. Those are the real worries for this ball position. And the white's taking a hit. Obviously, the blodge works there. Is he going to go with two more hits with the tackle free wolf? Yes, it looks like he is. No, I think he's still dodging no, off, isn't he? Got, he's just choosing to dodge. step in front of it to limit its movement. Yeah, yeah, you've got to dodge to guard against the pommel, haven't you? Now, the, the blodge piece that's down has the range to base the ball with its guard and then yep. the other one if it dodges off backwards what is it it's uh, move seven one two three four five six, 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 seven yeah. eight nine can't make it so it's going to have to go either a four plus three plus to get there which is probably what i'd be trying to do and then still two go for it or a five plus three plus and one go for it yeah, I think I'm going yeah, with the back player. Okay, I think he's just going to go with the... Uh, up, up, base, base, base. <laughs> yeah, I, that was two go for it to cancel, but there's no assist oh, from it. Oh, there we go. Another one in night for Calcium. We're going to overtime. Yep. Barring crazy well, That's what we said about... <laughs> right at the start, before I had my pizza, of course, we were talking about humans and their inbuilt rerolls. But unless you're getting some stat ups, they're still failing one in nine of the time a lot, and that's a lot of fails. It sure is. Calcium could uh, one turn, but it's going to be tricky against two um, stand firms, but not impossible. Uh, three stand firm, he, the white has it, doesn't he? Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And even the best defensive coach in Blood Bowl, very little he can do on offense. <laughs> Oh, I don't like to try and get a one-turner against three stand firms. I don't like risking any three rolls. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like that, you, you, okay, you're not really putting the score at risk by taking these hits. But I mean, the three D now, you've got to do the three D. You can move that zombie in and get three D with a wolf. I think you've got to do the three D. But then on the other hand, it's his, uh, it's his throw. So you probably want to keep that player on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a lot of gain, Jim? I mean, I know the Apothecary's gone, but there's no humans in the casualty box. There's only one knocked out. There's a bench of three to come back. I, think, I, I think don't think the, you're getting the, up the numbers. Thrower for sure. I think the thrower for sure. Yeah, I think if there's a key piece that you can hit for three dice, I would, but... Yeah, yeah I think... I think I like certainly, that. even though you've got the reroll, you don't want to lose one when you've only got two. An no, overtime exactly. lose. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I would not want to use the reroll. No, no not at all. No, However, I think if that, that KO well. thrower doesn't come back on the two rolls it gets, then, you know, that's definitely Which... an advantage for someone. Yeah. Yeah, and you could have cast it, couldn't you? Yeah. He's not back yet. He's not back no, yet. No, he fails the first roll. But the guard is, so that's still some good news for Calcium. 50% he gets the thrower back. Yep. And he has got the guard back, which is another piece he likes. So it's probably going to come down to bring another rook now, isn't it? Certainly, that would make them a strong favourite with how things have gone so far. Mm. If you've got a huge man advantage for overtime, then perhaps who receives isn't as vital. But if it's 11 versus 11, then you'd always back the team with the ball in the hand. Yeah, and like the teams are pretty close. I don't think they're that far apart, the two yep. teams, in like how powerful they are. And with the speed of wolves and the speed of catchers, you know, you need only one little hold. That, uh, again, you're not trying to, you know, overtime again for anyone that hasn't seen overtime before. There might be some people out there. It is golden goal. So once you score, it's done. Mm. And if you score on turn four, they don't get four more to try and tie it up. It is over. They go home, you won. Yep. I say go home. If you're living in England, of course, you already are home. <laughs> yep. Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't think it's that fair to say they both players allowed to score they shouldn't have. I mean, Mohamedou was down to seven players. Al Bundy was down to seven players on defence. So, like, you know, he made that bit of a mistake of a turn. Calcium did a bit of a greedy re-roll, you know. But, I mean, I think it was... I don't think it was really... I don't think it's, you know... I didn't... I didn't hate the re-roll. Knew what he was trying to do, put some pressure on at a time where it did look like the cage, even how based it was. I mean, as we saw, it was going to be able to get away reasonably easily. Maybe uh, one of those catches could have come back centrally before, or have got into a better position, leaving them both on the opposite side for the direction that the Necro were going. Yeah, that was the big problem with me, was that if that did suddenly one in 36, and it did, then it did leave a couple of pieces stranded. If, it was, if that blitz was the final action, then I would have... I'd have maybe considered that re-roll myself. Yeah, or if you decided you were going to re-roll it. I don't it. think I would have done. Yeah, that's the thing. If you decided that you want to re-roll it, then you do it last, don't you? I kind of think. Yeah. No, you're right. He didn't need to, no. It wasn't a failure, but... He, he obviously had an idea, and the position would have been an awful lot stronger if he'd got the power, even the push, and got the blood step catcher on the goal. It was his plan. And I'm, I'm trying to, you know, as, as Jim said the other night, and I did some thinking about it, and I, I decided I absolutely agree. Sometimes perhaps we're a little harsh on coaches that aren't, you know, in the top 3% of coaches, and I'm not sure Calcium would put himself there. Uh, and perhaps we should see some of the benefits and the advantages of what they are doing. Because Calcium's a very fine coach, and I think his coaching's come on in leaps and bounds in the last two or three years. I mean, perhaps it did all the time when I wasn't on Blood Bowl 2. And perhaps he's been better a long time, but he's certainly a lot better coach than I remember five years ago on Fumble. And, uh, and you know, a lot of what he does, I think, is really good stuff. Really high quality coaching. Yeah. Doesn't I mean, mean everything he does I like, and I, I didn't like that reroll. I'm I'll be happy to say that, but it, it wasn't hateful. It wasn't completely shit and wrong. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just to stop the one turn, uh, the, like if he doesn't put the if he doesn't put the stand firm on the on the line you could you could get the chain pushes for the his movement eight uh, you know sidestep catcher I don't think I, it was worth stopping the one turn personally I wouldn't have tried to stop the one turn because putting the fleshes on the LOS gives gives calcium like a crazy gang foul that calcium will take so you got lucky to get the blitz to stop the gang foul I think <laughs> yeah, I mean, particularly as there is, you know, even if the KO doesn't come back, the Cuban still will have one on the bench. That's going to be useless in overtime. Anyone that doesn't start the game in overtime is not of any use to you. So Calcium has a throwaway piece uh, and didn't think he was going to face any, you know, any um, blocks at all. So he would definitely have put a foul in. Yeah. So you, so you, so uh, not Calcium, person. because anybody would in that situation. Yeah. So by defending like this, you're just giving away, like, you know, four mighty, well, three mighty blow hits and a palm hit. Which... Anyone wondering why the three stand firm were there and the other guys were around them and not backlining? Uh, it's because, you know, the other big, big threat here is a riot. Yeah. You know, if you backline and suddenly they roll riot, which isn't hugely unlikely, it's something like a 1 in 12, um, then, yeah, suddenly you're massively out of position against the team and humans are reasonably nippy that does have a reasonable amount of speed. I would have still just backlined. I would have personally backlined, back but you know, who's to say? If you organise them right on the back line so that you think you can cover, you know, three or four <laughs> scoring threats at the same time, but it, it, I mean, you know, it's one in twelve. It isn't that likely. It isn't that unlikely? Yeah. I mean, I've 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 drawn two games I should have won because of riots <laughs> with my chops, but I don't know. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have been. I wouldn't have like. I wouldn't be that scared of the one turn threat. Shall we say? So maybe it's just to do with the defensive stop. The one turn. To stop that one. Ryan, maybe. That's no regen, isn't it? That is huge. Yeah, usually. Clever Jim. Cl no. Clever Jim wouldn't have had him. Gone, gone, gone. That's Clever uh, Jim would have had him on the OS. Huge piece gone. Oh, it's man. a niggling injury as well. So if the Necro get through, they are going to be a fleshy short. Not only for the next game, but then a. Terrible fleshy for number three. <laughs> and Jim being proven right now with a second piece going. 
Yeah. Only KO, yeah. but that's a 50% are coming <clears throat> back. And a blitz Decker here. have the bench to cover it, but... Now you can blitz and Not foul. with pieces anywhere near as good. Yeah. If he gets the knockdown, re-roll. Oh. oh, no, he can't re-roll. Ooh. Oh, that's lucky. Lucky, 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 really lucky nice he didn't foul. do the... Lucky he didn't do the auto re-roll. <laughs> Isn't he? Yeah. Because... Yeah, would you have been tempted there, Jim, to blitz something else so that you definitely got the foul in? No, no, I would have really wanted to blitz there, and then if you get the knockdown yeah. for four assist foul, you're massive. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You can, yeah, you can surround that piece and, and yeah. throw that foul in you wanted. Yeah, I mean he's got reserves, right? So if you foul, if you foul a shithead, there's absolutely. No point. <laughs> Basically, Calcium is now going to be upset more than anything else in this game. I think that there was a foul there he should have taken. He wasn't able to. <laughs> It's so funny when Calcium does commentary on that and he's like, oh, I'm not sure about that foul. I don't think I would have done that. <laughs> and you're like, and yes, like, you would. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Biggest... Because uh, everyone else in the world is sure you would have done it. <laughs> Gets the KO back. Both of them. Okay, who wins the toss? This is the one. It's the Necro. Ooh. Yeah, with that golem chip, it's um, it's perhaps quite interesting that he has. Yeah. It's it's now not as automatic now. I mean, yes, he's still going to have a full team, but he's short one of the real powers of power that a necromantic team rely on to build their drives around. Yes. Of course, yeah, these will uh, the agility, uh, the agility ghoul are still very, very, very dangerous, aren't they? Yeah, having having the Orga this defensive drive and probably not as much risk of being fouled out. I mean, he still could. Still could remove him, but yeah, if he can have that Orga. I mean, I'm sure he's going to foul him. Because <laughs> he's got the dirty player, hasn't he? So Yeah. If he knocks yeah, him he down, he'll foul him again. And again, trying to drive through a stand firm Orga when you're down a golem is quite tricky, particularly the better golem. Yeah, so he definitely he definitely wants it out. Yeah. Uh, even if he gets things off, it. even if you just even if you just stun it, it might give you the momentum you need to drive, you know, one of the wolves home. Yeah, I mean block yeah. guard is all the flesh he needs, mighty blow is just a bonus. Yep. And you know yep. the thing is he just need he just needs to score any time, right? So it's not yes. like it's not like the yeah, the, the the stun does stuns do become a lot more relevant, don't they? Because he just has to absolutely just has to punch through and score. Yeah, you're not trying to control the clock. You're you're trying to just drive home as quick as can, or as safely as you can. Yes, definitely safely. But if you can get there nice and quick, you're also going to limit attrition and go through to the next round with slightly better pieces. I mean, I'm a great believer. I think like you, Jim, that you win the game in front of you rather than worrying too much about the game two or three down the line. But at this point, you know, if you've got the ball and there is a good chance, it, it does start to tempt you. Oh yeah, for sure, yeah. So eighty twenty and necro. I don't know about it, if it's that. It might be that. It might be that one side. Like it's pretty good, isn't it? Receiving. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I might even be tempted here, with the with the strength piece right over on, on one flank. To drive straight down the other flank, bringing my stand firm white, my two wolves, and a ghoul or two with me. If I could, if I can receive on the ghoul somewhere farther forwards, I might give myself the chance to do that, and then rearrange if it doesn't look possible. With his blitz as the well. Ghoul hands there? off to the plus agility wolf, and the uh, the other wolf and the stand firm white keep it in a reasonable position, and I try and drive home in two. Mm. The white comes running in behind just to solidify the whole situation, and then the flesh golem ties up the line of scrimmage. With a couple of zombies doing the hitting as well, there. Interesting strategy, Cotton. It looks much more like he's going to go just for um, stabilizing nice and centrally and then trying to work yeah. an opening over the next couple of turns, doesn't it? Yeah, I think that's what I'd do. Or I would want to do. As I, said, I might set for it and then see if I looked at look, if it was on, but I, you know I wouldn't be automatically doing it like probably elves would definitely work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Baz, I mean, perhaps even yeah, leave perhaps leave the the worst white on the uh, ogre to get those uh, hits in on the line of scrimmage and drive with the flesh golem down that flank. Yeah. Mm. 
But the problem is blitz, isn't it? So like setting up for that is a bit, a bit yeah. risky, isn't it? I'll, I'll yeah, and you you massively like open up to a kick to the other flank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, NB. Did you not? Did you oh, not know? Calcium said it. Here we go. Oh. He did he. He did he. But he's a streamer. I don't begrudge streamers self-promotion. Yeah, of course. It's it's fair enough. It's Plus, good. you know, my extremely limited streaming experience, I've found that you just end up waffling nonsense half the time just to be saying something. Yeah. Yep. Yes, your first. Uh, was that your first stream today, then, PC? No, my fourth, Flicky. Thanks, oh, thanks for okay. <laughs> I'm feeling the love. Um, <laughs> clearly, you've got me followed. I'll have to see your stream so I can go to you so I can follow you. Oh, <laughs> so, a perfect defence, allowing the humans to steal a little bit back of the initiative of losing the ball by controlling who's going to get hit and where a lot better. Yeah, and and if you had set up to drive down one side, this would have uh, yep. put the guy off have been in ruined. somewhat. Yeah. But as I said, I'd set up to do it, but hope you know, be able to undo it. Yeah. He definitely is the best defender of CCL against Kaluders, yeah. He is undisputed in that. I thought we were never to talk of that for fear of being banned. Nah, uh, well, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I'm banned from uh, Xbox, it's really not the end of my world, is it? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's a bit tricky, then, isn't it? This same breath as Malmia. I play on Xbox. Glorious MV. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's he, he is good, Kelsey, and it's just a you know some I don't know why he said it, but it's just something he came out with. Like obviously, he just thinks he's better on defense than offense. <laughs> Nobody can think they're the best at anything in Blood Bowl, can they really? There's so many people who are pretty much the same. I certainly don't think anyone should think they are the best at anything. Um, <laughs> if that's going to be said, someone else should say it. Yeah. And, I mean, I, you know, you've said before that you think there's so many people up at the top level, very little to separate them. I do agree. I think some people are slightly better in one format. Uh, the person I think of as the best at Blood Bowl, I've said before, is Malmir, but only because I think he's right in that top strata across all formats yeah. but I can name you half a dozen others that are too yeah. and if there is anything between them it's a it's a hair it's a cigarette paper it's nothing noticeable yeah he just you know I'm biased because he's also my friend yeah that's fair enough <laughs> and table is undisputedly the best at surfing yeah <laughs> in tabletop at least <laughs> I think Andy Davo is a fantastic coach. I know he gets a lot of grief at times from some streams, but I, you know, I've seen him coach. I've met the guy. I think he's a fantastic blood bowl player. Good. And it's only my, <laughs> only my opinion. I am entitled to it. You are. You may not be right. You can say what's right or wrong. Who can say? Yeah, exactly. No, that's cool. <laughs> that must have an interesting choice. He's choosing to only take. He put the guard in, meaning he could have had three hits in the line of scrimmage. And the way he's done that first block means he's choosing to only have two. Yeah. Any idea why? No. Uh, you know, the, the follow up must mean that he's. I think, again, it's about the wolf blitz and not having to dodge off afterwards, isn't it? I think he's going to blitz the one on the line of scrimmage with the wolf that he didn't, uh, that yeah. he followed up to get out the way of. Yeah. yeah. And that makes that an assist. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's no, blitzed. He's again, he's going for the ogre. And how's it? The old dodge out. Maybe he won't dodge out. Doesn't break the armor, but it does mean there's um, a two assist foul he can go in with. This is ropey, That's... isn't it? There's definitely better plans than this one, wasn't there, Jim? Yeah. Sorry, Ann Flicky. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. Uh, yeah. It... 
I saw it. I was and he's now even it. moving the assist, so he's not going for the foul either. He's just locking up the right hand side of the pitch. Yeah, once he put, once he cancelled that assist, I was looking at it, but I still didn't like it. I I don't like any of the decisions here. I liked putting the guard in. I thought, okay, he is going to get his three line of scrimmage hits. He will then get a blitz afterwards. Yeah. And instead, he's reduced it to two hits, put several pieces in danger. Can't re roll this either, can he? But that's fucking scary. Without How can he not? Now that he's, I mean, he's locked down the right hand side of the pitch, if you're watching from behind him, but the left hand side is wide open. Yeah, I still think he just can't. I still think he can't re roll that. That catcher can get there, can't he? Yeah, I'm streaming through this, this the side of the pitch just covered by a zombie. Yeah. And that catcher can try and pick up the ball on a four. And his tackle is a little bit stranded. Yep, that's the piece I'd have come with. I like that from Calcium. It's He's really committing to this now. He's yep. going to hit with the tackle mighty blow, and that leaves him two pieces, the plus strength and the catcher to come through. Got him. And put your tackle on the wolf. Yep. Although I'd have pushed the zombie the other way, but... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. You should, of course, um, stood up want... his uh, ogre first. <laughs> yes. The yes. ogre should definitely stand up first. Yeah, because if not that, you know, you can just give the wolf the strength for wolf the ball once these play pieces come, and he'll be very hard to stop. There we go. Now the safe moves are done. That should have been first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just you get excited, don't you? You see an opening and you you just want to go for it. But yeah, you've got to try and remain. He's not going for the pickup. <laughs> what yeah, are you we've doing? Your spare time is your business, Wiki. And some of us have the court orders to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's a good point, NB. That is a good point. I'm the best Blood Bowl player on a talent per tour basis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, I think Kefu's still got more talent than his left toe. <laughs> You're saying that uh, you think Kefog is what thirty percent better a coach than Jimmy? <laughs> I just oh, said better. Oh, oh. I'm clearly tired. <laughs> Brutal. Just a joke. <laughs> Bestest. But also, he taught this. <laughs> that required, but uh, teams, Team Wales legend Hawker, I do know, um, uses a mobility scooter. I don't know if that's because he's missing toes. So that, that may not actually be a boast you could live to, Jim. No, I also do have ten toes anyway. So. I haven't. I know. I haven't done an exhaustive um, inquiry as to the number of toes of various blood ball coaches, but we, it might be we, interesting. We definitely need. <laughs> <laughs> the great tour census of 2021. <laughs> I, I want to see stats, frankly. <laughs> yeah. And if there's a correlation between coaching ability and toe number, then I'm quite prepared to bring a hacksaw out. Oh, that's... I think that's greedy. Yeah, he's that's, really, yeah. He's really that good. Is, that second yeah, yeah, I mean, there's committing to what you're doing and there's massively over committing to it. Yeah. And I think this is that because think... those whites now, if the ball gets to them, the game's over. He can get more, yeah, he can get far enough, or not even at all. I merely inferred the most likely scenario using the available And there's two agility four pieces back by the ball. I mean, yeah. I, I like you, I quite liked the idea of going for the pickup, um, whilst putting the strength four piece down there as well. I didn't mind bringing two other pieces through, but I thought over on the other side where the whites were locked down, I, I'd have liked to have kept them locked down. Yeah. Yeah, you just, I think, trust in... Uh... In your blodge there. But if you are going to dodge... Suppose the strength yeah, four piece is going to be very hard to move off the ball. Uh, I mean, that's a one die into two red dice if you go with it with your with the plus, plus agility wolf. Getting anything else back to assist is tricky. I mean, Kalsim, I suppose he's got a point. This is a game-winning chance. Right, so he gets the fleshy. Yeah. Don't, yeah, I'm a. Are you a bit surprised that wolf didn't come back to help out? Yes. Yeah, I, th I figured that. Because I am. Wolf was dodging out. I, I know it's a one in three fail, but that solves this situation in a way that the other pieces just don't look like they're going to do it. Yeah, and this wolf is uh, 
This wolf is a frenzy trap here, isn't it? Which isn't yeah. what you want. It's not on, it's um in, it's not tackle this one, it's on it's the other one with tackle, so it's it's fishing for that thirty percent. Yes, and because it's Yeah, it is, yeah. Maybe two die into one. Yeah. There's the push. Here we go. Three plus. Doesn't get him, so yeah, three plus pickup now. Yeah, but if he gets it, a little cheeky pass to this stand firm white, and we are looking at probably game. Yeah. Yeah, with that catcher down. Yeah, it's only the dirty player lineman that looks like he'll be able to get there and stop it. And that's now been powered too. Yeah. Yeah. What's the pickup? Oh, he's got it. Now, is he going to risk the little cheeky pass? Or is he going to just try and stabilise? I I think I'd question. be going for the whole ballpark here. And he could just he could just assist and then block. There is an intercept. He could, he could just move up, assist the block, block there, put the uh, stick the stand firm on the catcher. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the problem is these catchers in the backfield on the wolf have got lots of movement. Um, that bludge guard is not tagged on. It looks like that's exactly what he's doing, though, Jim. Yeah. I know he is screened. So it'll be a one in nine through. Yeah, the centre of the field is is a nice screen against the area where the ogre is. Those those two guys by the ogre aren't coming anywhere easily. <laughs> the other one, sorry, the uh, the move six blitzer doesn't has the pace to get there, but of course that's a, a three plus. Either hey. off the flesh golem or off the one just behind the wolf, the zombie behind the wolf. Yeah, Gets the KO. That really helps the other position. Yeah, you could even yeah. let the blood stepper off there and then move move the move the blitzer back in order to cover that side where the guard catcher, where the guard blitzer is. And move six guard blitzer. Yep, that might be worth doing because certainly the uh, the move plus catcher is going to be able to base this ball. Okay, you just run him into a scoring yeah, threat. I didn't like he's that. given a double scoring threat which needs to be covered. Okay. Yeah, I, di I didn't really like that to be honest. I, I would have wanted him keeping that catcher out of it or putting him on the other side of the... of the. I, I quite like putting him on the other side of the uh, goal to be honest. The, the throw can get there on one dodge. Because now he's got the easy assist in, hasn't he? Uh, with that catch or whatever. Can, yeah. Well, it's a three plus for the lineman to get there. The uh, the side stepper on the line can get there without any dodges or go for it. Yeah. And the one at the but the you know the plus move at the back, the thrower, yeah. the move seven. That's uh, yeah. I think the thrower maybe is the blitz. That's, that's only a three plus to get there. Is the assist because I would want side step on that ball at the very least at the end of this turn. I think he just... Oh, yeah, because he's got dodge, yeah. He's still got dodge. Or... Yeah, the great thing about it is there isn't a tackle piece that can easily get there. Yeah. Yeah. Because the tackle piece was committed sort of in the... Once it did the blitz, if it wasn't going to go up and tag the wolf, I think it should have retreated. Yeah. And that tackle piece is... Uh, the tackle, tackle piece is sort of a bit lost tackle. in midfield, and it's it's keeping a, you know, a wrestle zombie, which I'd have pushed further towards the line, making it a little bit less relevant. It's keeping that honest, but pff, what a waste of your only tackle piece. Yeah... He's going, here we go. Okay, we are going with the two die. Oh, two we get the dodge. Oh. A mistake. Oh, oh, we don't get the go for it. Got the, um, got the was that a passing error, or do you think it was a choice about... Just a mistake. Oh. Why is he hitting from there and not the yeah. one that was nearer? Just must have been a mistake, must not it? Must have been. But he gets the pal. Doesn't break armor, though. That could be huge. Yeah, and it does mean that... Uh, <laughs> Very tricky to see who uh, who does the three plus, and he fails the one in nine again. Oh. Freeze that wolf. Calcium's dice have been tough. He's been battling in this match a lot. Yeah. I'm not saying it's me. Well, the you know, all is a long way from lost. That ball is on the ground. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. But he is having to fight against it. He's doing really well. They both are. I think it's a. I think it's a really thoroughly good match. I'm really enjoying it. 
Um, Shame I missed the first half. Certainly the second half and overtime so far has been exactly what we were promised, wasn't it? A very, very even matchup. Yeah. yeah for sure, really yeah. competing skills on both sides. It's being used pretty well. Yeah, that's good blood ball to watch. Get involved now as well. Whether he can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you dodge off the strength for tackle, Wolf? The, Is that the piece you need to come to this catcher with? I think you do. I think you cover the ball with a wolf, and then and then yep. dodge with you like with the edge four wolf. Cover the cover with the edge four yep. wolf, then blitz with strength four wolf. Yeah, he is on yep. tackle, so it's a potentially uh, a re-roll to make it a one in nine dodge. Yeah, I might have been even one to the sideline of where that wolf ended. He's got sidestep. You, you don't have to worry oh, about no, you can clear him. Yeah, zombie steps in, and you can clear the wolf. Um, you can chain off tackle, and if you power him, you can chain off the ogre. Oh no, you can't. You stand for so yeah, you can just get rid of tackle. It's not easy to get rid of the tackle. No. It yeah, really step in the zombie, and then you hit with the white. The zombie doesn't help. Yeah, it's a one die though, Flicky. Oh, yeah. Sorry. It's not an assist square. Sorry. Yeah. And, of course, that's the tackle I missed when I said his only tackler was a bit lost in midfield. There is another tackler, and he's uh, stuck behind the ogre doing very little. Yeah. But, but at least he's in a central position where he can, you know, get somewhere if he wants to. And there is tackle. He's another makes one of... Makes the uh, and this is a huge. Dodge. Oh, my goodness. Another one in nine. Well, I called it, didn't I? I said when I came back in the second half that this has been the story of one in nines on both teams. Yeah. One in nine, the armour. It continues to be so. And the bad thing for Amdo is, is, is cool still prone, isn't it? Like, whereas. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, of course, the reason is that the wolf where it was gave him a three die on the catcher and into two die on the catcher. And then the ghoul was probably going to be the recovery piece. Yeah, he was going to have to make a one in nine. If he didn't do that, he was going to have to make a one in nine picking up the ball, wasn't he? So. Yep. Kind of. Oh, yeah. He's, so he's cleared the way for the dodge out. Dodge out with tackle, maybe, to hit that um, edge wolf. Here he comes. Made it. <laughs> Instant puts oh. in his last reroll. Oh. Wow, that was ballsy. Yeah. Again, I think he thinks he's in a game-winning position. I kind of agree. Yeah. yeah. Certainly getting the stun on the wolf does mean if this pickup works, I think it's all over. The fat lady can uh, oh, have herself a drink and heads towards the stage. Yeah. And again, PC, if he'd had that, if he'd had that wolf oh, on to the right, that would have been a GFI to hit him as well, wouldn't it? Which could have made the Yeah. Yeah, Indeed. I did prefer that square. Yep. There's nothing can reach. No, he's fucked, isn't he? That's it? <laughs> yes. I think that's the no, technical that's turn for it, yes. <laughs> that is the, yeah, that's definitely the technical turn, that is it. Congratulations, Calcium. Yeah, well done, Calcium. He's He's got it done. Unless somehow here he fucks it by... <laughs> no, I don't think he can now. He, he dodged off in the right order that even now if he dodges off the golem, which he now should... Yes, the can't, only thing that can lose it. All is won't even be based as long as you pick the right square to dodge two and fail. No, he's staying there. One of these guys needs a uh, one Kaz to level, and he gets greedy, but he won't. He's got no re rolls. No, at this point you, you bang it in, Flicky. Of course you do. I'm Joe. <laughs> okay. So hard to tell with the joviality of your voice on most times. <laughs> I know that's true. Yeah. So the fleshy can blitz and then go one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI, and then base in the ball. Easy. Uh, yes, you didn't mention a couple of those GFIs are um, through tackle zones. Yeah. yeah Not something fleshy's are traditionally known for doing particularly well. No. Yeah, five plus six plus dodge. That's all he's got, isn't it? Yeah. Well, as I said, that's why I would have dodged off that guard piece. Because actually dodging it off, if you fail, you can be on the line the golem needs to go on. Yeah. And if you succeed, you can put a double uh, line in front of that golem, which, I mean, it's, it's not going to happen anyway. But yeah. And he hasn't done threat anyway, but I should have done. Yeah. 
and that put a No, I mean, even if it's a 6-6 six, six to get there, at least it's something. Yeah. Kowsing without any re-rolls only needs to 1 in 9 or, you know, 1 in 36 and suddenly there is a problem. Yeah, instead he tried to kill the Ogre. Didn't get him. Luckily, it was an armor break on that guard. I wouldn't have left there, but it didn't hurt it. <laughs> so all is fine. Yeah. And now it's just a long pause of realizing that your chalice is over. Yeah, Mongoose. I'm, not, turn, I'm not, sure if it was, not sure if it was just a scoring threat. I think he was trying to protect that area so he, Calcium couldn't recover and get back in front of him. When he moved it, I actually quite liked that guard um, quite what, doing what he was doing and just screening off the entire yeah. right hand of the pitch. Obviously, it didn't work out. Yeah, I mean, I do see some value in that, Flicky. I thought it was a little bit... I think he was trying to split Calcium's focus as much as, as you said, wall off the other side of the pitch. It did do both those things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it, it was a reasonable position to expect the ball recovery, but I I don't know. The ball was so under threat, wasn't it, though? And, like, it you was. Know, you, like, it was no dice to base it with a bludge stepper. So... Scary. And there were, you know, threats that were coming from multiple directions. If if Calcium had rolled his three pluses a lot better, they could have had four people around that ball. Yep. Suddenly the white would have been hugely out of position. I yeah. I didn't love it. I, I mean, I see the positives it did bring, but it was optimistic, it, it wasn't it? Basically, negative. it was like yeah, it really. Like, yeah. If yeah, things go right, if it had been that optimistic, then I would have done the little pass the turn before rather than base up and try and you know hold in that area. Yeah, I did like it as an option. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Stand for a piece. You can it right down the side. Oh, interesting idea. Yeah, on here we go. And there he is. The best defensive Calcium coach Brew. in football. <laughs> Loses the top. Brew to round two of the chalice. Yeah. Glorious. Congratulations, Calcium. What a game. Now I'm going to go and have a, a cigarette outside, count my lottery winnings, and uh, have a look to the sky. See how many pigs are going by. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. He is, he is scared, isn't he? Cuts oh. like a knife. How you doing? Good. <laughs> what a fantastic game of Blood Bowl you coached. Can I just say, come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. Of what you a can. game. Oh, I felt like I was pissing in the wind for three quarters of it. All those one in nines I was rolling. And I, the inner, honestly, what the fuck is going on with my thrower? Me and him are having words at the end of the game. Seriously. <laughs> Other yeah. words, you're stacked because you've got bloaty skills I don't need. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, then he rescued it for you. I, I didn't panic at all, honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, do you know what? Um, me and Noamto was having a bit of a chat, um, or Al Bundy, or whatever his name is, at the end of that. And I just said to him, I just said to him, I, I think I just got the nod at the end there. I thought it was over when I lost the toss. Um, you know, there were there were two parts in the second half, so. Um, I decided that I, I saw a route in to base the ball with a sidestepper and I went really rowdy and I maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled into skulls, but yeah. I thought, do you know what? If I can get a sidestepper on this ball now, you never yeah. know. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I think that's what you were doing. we talked about that a lot. I think the conclusion we came to, mate, is that if you were going to re-roll that, and I didn't hate the re-roll on that because the upside was really good. You, you know, you based a lot of that cage. There was a load of pressure, and as you said, a sidestepper on the ball was going to really add to all of that. Yeah. But perhaps oh. moving the catchers on the edge before going for that blitz. Oh, well, that's one of the biggest flaws in my game. Uh, well, there's many flaws in my game. Um, so, uh, <laughs> but one of the, you know, obviously the, the top tier coaches, and I'm nowhere near top tier, you know, um, and the top tier coaches will do absolutely all safe moves first, get their positioning bang on, and then make the dice rolls. Whereas more emotional coaches like me, or shitters, for want of a better word. Um, I'm not sure that's fair. Well, you know, uh, do you know what? I'm- oh, to shit. I, uh, other than, other than, other than me, right. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry, fair enough. <laughs> I can't argue with that. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the type of coach that no one really wants to play against and that's nothing to do with my toxicity that's to do with the fact that if i roll decent dice i can give anyone a really 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 good go uh, good, good game um uh, whereas I'm, I'm 
I'm a lot more dice reliant than you, PC, for, for instance, or Jimmy. I mean, I, 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 to be honest, Kelsey, I'm joking aside, I, I wouldn't put you in the very top coaches, but I wouldn't put you very far under. I mean, I think you're no, in that chunk no, of people that perhaps I, the top 25% of blood bowlers, maybe even the top 10. Yeah, uh, I'm but getting... But not the top I'm, 3 to 5%. I, I tend to agree with that. I think yeah. you played some great blood bowl during that. I, I, I thought the game was dominated. I, I wasn't around for a lot of the first half. Second half and overtime, there was a lot of one in nines on both sides. Loads. And me and Noamto um, were saying that, you know, so many yeah. one in nines, it really stifled both of our games. You know, we were both pissing in the wind with regards to dice rolls. Um, he rolled two sets of skulls um, second half, and he chipped away his re-rolls. Um, when I was four re-rolls to two, I wasn't even thinking about whatever it's called, the kick equity or kick equity, you know. I wasn't even thinking about that, you know. Um, and when I lost the toss, I thought, uh-oh. I'm I mean, to me, to me the upside of that reroll. Yeah. Sorry, just uh, yeah. uh, let me butt in for a second. And hello, Noamto, and commiserations, Noamto. Sorry, uh, yeah, I'd ignore really you as well. Well. <laughs> we're we're chatting away. I can't see it. Yeah, yeah. Well played. Can I? Noamto. Can I just? Can really I just give some props to Noamto because we were chatting throughout that game, and it was really good natured. It was, it was, it reminded me of two mates being at opposite ends of a tabletop, you know, um, drinking a beer, having a game of blood bowl. It was really, really, uh, you know, good natured games and calcium are two things you don't normally associate <laughs> with each other. But um, it was it was a really no, you, good you, game of Blood Bowl. You've got on record in the past as saying when someone is facing you, they are the enemy. They, you know, you don't want to like them. You want to hate them, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I play better Blood Bowl if I absolutely hate someone. So, um, you know, <laughs> but it's difficult to hate him. He looks like Jesus. Have you seen his Discord picture? He looks more like Jesus than Rick Reckless. So how can you hate on Jesus, for God's sake, you know? I'm wondering if it was a, a crafty tactic by him to stop you playing your best Blood Bowl. <laughs> Possibly. He's a good looking bloke. I, I, I didn't know whether I should be angry or slightly turned on, to be honest. So, you know, I, it was... I think we've had enough sex in this channel for one evening. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, but yeah, um, angry and turned on. Yeah, angry sex is the best sex. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> I just wanted to finish off that point about the uh, the re-rolled uh, blitz that you shouldn't have re-rolled. Um, I, I, I get why you did. I, I absolutely, you know, I, I don't mind it. I mean, I'm, I didn't think it was shit and wrong. I just perhaps wouldn't have done it. Um, it's And I perhaps would. If you see an opportunity like that, when you go for that opportunity, when you really want to, that is a key moment. I mean, a good coach sees those opportunities, yeah. goes to those opportunities. But as you're saying, a really good coach knows, I see that opportunity, that is what I'm going for. But what do I do if it fails? How do I make sure that isn't as terrible too? And that's about sweeping those catches into good defensive positions just before. And as you go in for the blitz saying, I'm going to re-roll it if I want it in nine. But, yeah. I, you know, if that all then goes horribly wrong, I'm in a slightly better position. It's really weird. Is um, playing sort of pressure blood bowl. It's like an out of body experience because the moment you do something, you think, "Why in the blue hell did I do that? You know, yeah. why didn't I do this?" And we've all done it, haven't we? You know, we've all made a Absolutely. rash move, or you know, um, and especially someone like me. You know, the adrenaline dumps. You know, half of my bullshit, half of the bullshit that comes out of my mouth is because I'm adrenaline dumping. <laughs> me about being Absolutely. the most dangerous coach or the best defensive coach. That's all adrenaline dumping. That's all that is. Do you know what I mean? I, you know, if anyone actually thinks I mean that, they're an idiot. But uh... <laughs> See, uh, look, uh, trust me. You know, rest easy. No one thinks you mean that. Um... <laughs> You. <laughs> don't don't go to bed worried about that. I but I'm so happy um, to yeah. to be honest. I've got no real expectations in this chalice, uh, which is weird because I play to win. I don't play to lose. Never played to lose. Um, mm -hmm. But I've got no real expectations in this chalice. But I really wanted to get through this first round, and this was a 50-50 game. There was there was nothing between our teams. You know. Yeah. Um, uh, in fact, I was terrified of his speed. Dealing with necro speed is insane. It's mad. I mean, we saw we saw that. From what I hear, we saw it in the first half. We certainly saw it throughout the second half and overtime. You know, the one in nines were really dominating what happened. There were some good plans on both sides that really could have changed things, and then somehow just never quite seemed to. Um, certainly seemed like you had the match for each other, both mentally and on the field, which is really good blood bowl to watch. Yeah, it, and I, I absolutely I like to celebrate. Think it was a good you game. Know, um, without you know, watching you know it back. I'll take the piss till the end of time, but I absolutely celebrate playing with your heart, enjoying what, what you're doing, loving your blood bowl. That's that's what a game is for. Oh, yeah, everyone, everyone, it, love it. You know? I tell everyone you knows what I like now, so. Sorry, sorry, Calcium. I tell right, you, what you missed sorry. PC. What you missed was right. Calcium failed his first nine attempts to pick up the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I saw the first two before I had to go for Pete, but yeah. No, the first four, yes. 
the two sure hands fails on turn one and two, I saw. There was another one, was there? Brilliant. There was another three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Turn three, he failed well... twice. Turn four, he failed twice. And he finally picked up on turn five. Right. I was channeling my well, I mean, inner that's... Dio. <laughs> no, I said at the very right, start, I understand why Naomto didn't pressure in the backfield. You know, the fear of losing those walls before they get to do anything. Yeah. But I, And it was a very deep kick to try and pressure. But he must have been kicking himself in turns two, three, and four, that he hadn't taken the decision to try and come. And again, yeah. because that's, that's that's Captain Hindsight talking, isn't it? Yeah, because, you can always you know, coach a better game afterwards, can't you? Exactly. Um, I, I sure, I'm sure Noamdo was really kicking himself for not pushing, and I was a little bit surprised that he didn't push early on. But then, you know, I had my, um, obviously, my POM tackler loiter in. It, 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 you know, it, it's all ifs and ands, isn't it? It could have been an entirely different game. But at the end of the second, at the end of overtime there, um, you know, I, I saw that opportunity and I, all I was thinking was, please, Ogre, just get a push. That's all I needed to break out my, my tackle player, just to push on the Ogre. And I'm thinking, if this Ogre won in nines right now, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> so I'm really glad he didn't. And I rolled decent dice right at the end. I, I said to Noampto in the chat, I tipped it at the end dice wise, you know, so yeah. I, I that that was the decider. Um, I didn't play. No, I certainly didn't play any better. I didn't play any better than him at all. Um, I think it was a pretty even game throughout, to be honest. But, but I mean, know. on the ogre thing, uh, it's another thing I, I enjoy telling newer players as well. Sometimes fear of losing is fear of winning. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, starting with a big guy move isn't ideal. But if it's if it's what changes everything, then yeah. it, it's got to get done. I had to do it, didn't I? I had to move yeah. that zombie out of the way yeah. to allow the play and likewise um the the turn before um i was i i did think to myself i think i've overcommitted a little bit here but then do you know what it's the way i play all in you know um and and it worked so i'm i'm so happy <laughs> on to the second round so um jim you get to you and pc get to slate me for another hour and a half <laughs> <laughs> hey don't me flicky flack out he slated you too <laughs> He oh, has. Sadly, he, sadly, he's left. Oh, bummer. Um, uh, do you know what? I... Please come back, Flicky. Yeah, I was definitely. just about to hand over to you and say I think Flicky's got some questions. So is it? Is it a don't watch the bod? Um... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no. no, no. Um, it, you know, it, it is what it is, isn't it? I thought it was a good game. There were some things that yeah. I would have done differently, yeah. you know, from, from both of you, but that doesn't mean it's right, does it? It's, it just is what it is. Like, you know, mm. there's, there are a few things well, that I think... Well, you say what's right and wrong, Jim. Um, exactly. But to all yeah, 100 I people here, you know, if you're in the chalice and and someone casts it you know what they say about the game remember they're trying to entertain people they're trying to talk about yeah. things all the time they're also just trying to you know call it as they see it um so even if your friends with calcium you're still going to say hang on i wouldn't have done that or my god he's terrible yeah. and sometimes you're having just a laugh as well and i hope people don't take any of it too seriously it's a game after all where orcs and elves play american football with chainsaws i mean if we're taking you know it what? seriously um, have a look at your life i'll paraphrase mm. paul hicks here if the worst thing that happens is someone calls you a shitter at Blood Bowl during the course of a day. It's a good day, isn't it? <laughs> you know, and and like what? Yeah, commentators have to have the freedom to commentate. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, what's the point? Um, so there's nothing you could say about me that I would think bloody hell. You know, um, chance. To be honest, I I trust that the likes of you and Jim commentating. You're generally right. You know, without using the Jimmy is always right meme. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you guys, you guys are normally spot on um, because analysing a game, you know, in, in, sort of in the box, is a lot easier than actually playing it, isn't it? We it it is. I mean, having you know, even than streaming. Having recently done it, just a couple of streams. I mean, apparently Flicky didn't know, but I have. <laughs> Um, it, it's so difficult. I mean, playing Blood Bowl yeah. in itself can take a lot of your focus. It's really hard to, you know, play that phone game during the opponent's terms. Though. But then, you know, actually just sitting here watching someone else play, yes, you're thinking, what do I say, and trying to keep noise going, but it is so much easier to analyse the position when it's not you having to take the decision. Yeah. Um, can I just give a big shout out to you, PC, and obviously Jim, who's the Don of Blood Bowl, and uh, I'm a very proud member of Team Fantastic and always will be. Um, so thank you so much for casting the game. Artemis Black was Pleasure. casting on his end as well. So I think 200 people were watching me play Blood Bowl, which is pretty it's crazy, um, yeah. which is amazing. So I, I can only imagine how much Artemis Black tore me to shreds during <laughs> his VOD. So I really look forward to watching that. But I watch both of them and 
with, with a view of, right, what could I have done better? How can I improve my game? And that is, you know, and that's the most important aspect of my game is I, I want to improve. Even though I'm playing at a pretty decent level, I think there's more left. I think I can improve further. Right. Well, you know, remember to have fun as you go. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's great killing men's, isn't it? That that um <laughs> that flesh golem chip was great. When I. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. That was a, that was the thing that I said actually uh, for Noamdo. Like I, I would have just left. I would have just backlined it and thought, you know, if you make fair play, if you do all the dodges through, you know, agility yeah. three, you know, the crappy humans aren't. If if you make all the pushes, all the dice rolls for all the pushes, and then all the dice rolls for all the dodges, then fair play to you. Whereas yeah. you know, I, I I thought you know if you put those if you put those fleshes on the line, they're all getting mighty blowed, palmed and fouled, and I just I didn't like that part of it. But anyway, that's ne neither here nor there. Um, yeah. We've got to wrap up the YouTube video at some point. So okay. thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to disappear. I'll leave the last word to you, Jim. Thank you, PC. Thank you very much, Flicky Flack, who, who, was, who was nished. Um, thank you very much, PC. And of course, thank you, Calcium, for coming on. Congratulations, Calcium. Thank you, mate. Cheers. See you later. Cheers. And commiserations to Amdo. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>